Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you putting a new seal kit into a steering pump off of a 108. Anyway, so this is off of a 280 SE uh, 1973, I think. Um, this actually goes with a hose to the reservoir. On the 4.5, the reservoir just sits on the top. So that's the only difference uh, uh, with this pump uh, to the 4.5. So, um, yeah, we had a... One of the guys from the group, Freddie, asked me to do a quick um, video on resealing one of these pumps and it's really very easy and straightforward. So let me get you to the bench and uh, I'll show you what's involved. Right, first things first, before I take the pump apart, um, these are the kits you're going to want to get. I got a couple of them actually. Uh, the kit number, I got this from Auto House, is uh, 0058631460. Okay, just for reference here. Now it comes with the uh, two O-rings on the front of the pump and then the front seal on the shaft seal here. But what this kit doesn't have is the pressure relief valve O-ring. Now I'll get into that with you. I'm going to take this out so you'll see uh, what the O-ring is and how to get it out. Um, I'm not worried about this pump. This is a spare pump I've got. It's not going back on any of the cars right now. So we'll put these in. We'll take this out. Now, if you're not leaking from here, um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. But if you really want to change this seal, try and locate the seal before you take this out so you know you've got everything ready to go. But a lot of the times, they're leaking from below here or this front seal. Uh, you'll see it peeing out the bottom. Um, so I will take this out and we'll take a diameter measurement um, of the shaft. So let me uh, get this body apart. So basically we're just going to split the pump apart. These are 14 mil. I've already loosened them so So be careful when you take it apart. It should just uh, break apart from the uh, main body here. So so let me set this off to the side carefully. You've got to be very careful of this lid here because I'll show you what's behind here in a minute. But okay, so this is the location of the main ring here that just sits in a channel around there pull that out that's set in a channel there uh, my 451 that I did this ring didn't seem like in bad condition but this one up here was totally naffed up it was squashed flat um, no good I think let's see let's see if you can see let's see it's a little flattened up there. That's kind of typical, I think. So that one's failed, really. So that's those two. That's the two main ones that are going to give you most of grief. And so what I like to do is give this um, a uh, little clean out with brake fluid. A brake, not brake fluid, I'm talking about brake cleaner. So give that a clean out. Uh, I'm just doing this quick. You'll obviously take your time futzing around. There's a backing plate in here as well. This should come out. Give this a good wipe out. And this plate, there we go. That plate comes out, okay. And this little concave part goes outwards. So give that a good old thorough clean out with the brake cleaner. Now, there's this little spring on the top here, right, and that just sits on there. Take that off. And on the top here, just so I can show you the pump veins, the pump, uh, I think, I'm trying to think, vein pump, I think they call these. So as this turns around, I'm keeping it upright, see? I think centrifugal force when this is spinning, those veins push out to the outer wall there and spin around and that's the pump there, you see. Now, if I turn this upside down, those veins will pop out. So keep this upright. So just be cautious of that. And this 
is on the shaft side, just for reference, okay? So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do this seal until we've sealed this up. It's probably best, before you take it apart, do this one first, but I'm just doing this one just because I wanted to show you. Before I go ahead and reinstall everything, I'm going to show you this, what's behind this uh, little pin here. All it is, is a little split pin right there and you get a punch and punch this through but you've got to watch this it's going to come flying out of there i've got that clamped in the vice wooden vice so no, no damage is occurring now what i got okay so i've got this little drift and i sanded it round so it was uh narrow enough to go through but not so narrow it's going to go through the pin you get the idea so what we do we're going to carefully knock that pin out Got to get my better glasses on here so I can see what I'm doing. So you can see the pin's coming out. Now this is enough to push it all the way through and stop that thing flying out, right? And it can still rotate. So we'll take that pin out a little bit more. Right, so that pin's out now. Now that's sprung underneath there, right? So pull this out. Probably gets stuck in there. There we go. So I've got my finger over it, right? So what there is, there's a little top. This is the thing that's held in there. Whoops. This is the little top plate, let's see the line where the pin is. That's the O-ring I'm talking about there, that little O-ring there. Now, put that there, and then this guy just pulls out this little plunger here, okay? And that's the pressure relief valve inside. And might give that a good old clean out. More than likely, I didn't do this on this video, but clean everything out before you take it out, like I just did, so, um, you don't get any dirt down there, um, but um, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that O-ring off. This is one of these dental picks. Reason I'm taking this off is I want to get some measurements because this will be a spare pump for me. Simple O-ring. Okay, so that's the one you want to do a bit of research. I will put down in the comments section or in the description section the uh, proper uh, part number for this guy. Okay, so you can do your research. So, I'm going to clean this guy out and get my diameter of this plunger stopper. 13.11 mil, sorry. 13.11 mil is the diameter inside diameter of this o-ring so you'll probably want it a little tighter than that um i think aaron was suggesting like at least uh uh 0 0.01 of a mil or, or a little smaller than that to get a tight fit um and then the o-ring itself i don't know whether this is the way to measure it but this will give us an idea what the o-ring is with no compression on it two and a half mil by the looks of it two and a half mil o-ring fatness and then 13.11 uh, on the diameter so that looks like it is 13 point no 13.12 mil on the diameter so there you go so i'm going to put this back in just so you see how easy it is so i'm going to put that o-ring back on there As I say, this is my test pump, but uh, clean all that off. There's also a spring down in there. I guess you could pull that out as well and clean that up. But And if you, if you uh, let this fly, this is going to fly across the room and that spring might come out as well. So be cautious of that. Put that guy back in there after cleaning thoroughly. Make sure that's operating nicely.
Get the plunger back in there. Okay, a little fussing around. I using my punch on one side to kind of hold it down so we can get this pin started. That's taking over now. That's it. So as I say, if you don't want to mess with this or just do your research so you can get your hands on the O-ring before. So Right, put your lid back on. Sorry, wrong way around. It's got a couple of locating dowels on this, so you, you put that back on there. And again, carefully surf, clean all these surfaces. Right, now that you've cleaned all these surfaces, you're happy with the way it looks. You've cleaned this backing plate as well. This is thoroughly clean. Um, Let's get our O-rings on now. This is a uh, mystery oil actually, just to hold those in there, just to locate those. Stick that guy in there. Could use transmission fluid obviously. And yeah, we'll just put a little on this seal. This is Just putting a little on that o-ring, wrap that guy over there, make sure it sits in the channel, if you're happy with that. Now, you've got to get this spring into that and obviously that's going to be wobbling all over the blooming place. So what I do, I get a little grease, tiny, they don't need a lot, just this is assembly grease, just a little dab of that. And then that will enable the spring to sit upright on its own without flopping all over the place. And then this plate has to go on there, but inside this thing, right? So again, I'm gonna put some dob of grease a little on the edges, probably hold it a little better. That's not gonna go anywhere. If you get it to the point where it holds itself, and then you can bring this body, yeah, it's fine. There you go. Those in there. So that's the center of the pump sealed. I have no pulley on this at the moment, so I've got to take this nut off so we can access the seal here. Um, let's get that guy off. So this is a 22 mil bolt on there. Um, you're gonna to have to use a puller to pull your pulley off. Uh, so what we need to do is we've got to dig out this seal in here now, the main thing is you don't you want to you don't matter if you destroy the seal obviously but you don't want to scratch up the inside of this bore or the shaft obviously so let's get this mounted in the old vice here any which way you can get it out with a I think they make seal pullers you know like hooks to get in there so we'll just use a flat blade see if that'll work Right, so it's in the vise, and I'm just going to use carefully use a flat blade to bust up that seal, but not going so far that we mess the bore up. That's coming. I'll get another screwdriver on the other side. There you go. It seems a bit brutal, which it is, but your main thing is don't go in too far. Hey. 
There you go. One seal off. And this is what I'm talking about. Don't get the scooter. So I'm angling here, but not going too far this way to drive into here. So go in a little ways and leave it up. Go in a little ways, leave it up and just play around. You get the idea. I'm just taking this Woodruff key off of here because I've uh, got to get that washer off so I can get the new seal in. That's just the Woodruff key there. I get this guy off. Give it a little wipe out. Right, the final seal just gets set in there. Now, I did it on my press. Uh, those of you who don't have a press, uh, let's try and do it without a press. So, um, because a lot of people don't have a press, do they? So, what I'm going to do, put a little, I'm just going to put a little grease on the edge here to help that in on that leading edge there. Just a little assembly grease here. That's that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this tranny fluid or whatever mystery oil just on there. And what we're going to do, set that guy in there. Oops. Get it kind of as level as you can, and we're going to select a socket with the correct diameter. That you can gently tap that guy in. 24 mil socket should do it. So say I've got a press, but let's do it like this, just so you can see it done. That's seated in nicely, that. Right, so my uh, my battery ran out of my camera, sorry about that. So I set that in, that's very nice and even. Don't go, you know, real creaming on this. Okay, you've got a little finesse to it and a lot of, you know, some nice grease on the leading edge and you'll be fine. But you must make sure you get the socket that's large enough to go in the bore, but not small, too small that it will go between the outer band and the inner spring um, retainer there. It needs to be on the far outer edge as possible and then, you know, firm hits and it will go in nice. So... Uh, that is it pretty much pretty straightforward little job here and that will be fine for many years to come so like I say they leak mainly from this seal here and if you don't think you're gonna need to do this one don't bother or just make sure you locate the o-ring before you start the job or before you take that out okay hope you enjoyed that video uh, on resealing the uh, steering pump of the 108 or any other relevant models and uh, that is about it for today so thanks a lot guys uh really appreciate it please hit like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye